what's up everybody and welcome to the channel uh, this is your boy the e-bike guy and today we got another request from one of my uh, customers um, what you see here is a uh, there's a 1500 watt and this is a uh, one of your generic controllers that you can buy from uh, like Aliexpress eBay um, this doesn't come in the kit uh, this is this is so separate so but this one is uh, from 48 volts to 64 volt controller um, he wanted me to do some uh, performance mods to it so what we're going to do today in this video is we're going to be doing a shunt mod to this uh, 1500 watt controller now the benefit of um, doing a shunt mod to a controller like this or any um, any conversion kit that you would get uh, from um, like those uh, websites is that uh, it is a very cheap upgrade for power so what you're doing what you're doing to these controllers is you uh you're gonna be doubling the amps out of this um controller uh to the uh phase wires that you see here so so that that's it's gonna it's gonna increase um acceleration it's gonna be a noticeable difference it's not gonna be like getting a big controller like from your sabotage your votos um uh, voto controllers kelly um so on and so on so but it, you will feel this, a noticeable difference in acceleration and top speed once you do the shunt mod. Now, now it varies from controller to controller, um, depending on what you get. But in this type of controller, we're going to show you how to uh, uh, mod the shunt, okay? So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, the controller apart. Not all the way, but I'm going to show you how to uh, take it apart. So, first what we're going to be doing, we're going to be removing these screws. Now, these screws happens to hold the Moffitts, there's a there's an aluminum plate um, that's behind this here uh, heat sink. Um, it has some thermal paste on it. And what that's gonna do is actually the the, uh, the Moffitts or AKA transistors is actually screwed in to this metal, this uh, aluminum plate. And this aluminum plate is actually screwed into this heat sink. And what that does, it helps, them, it helps transfer heat from the Moffitts uh, to the outside of this heat sink. So, we're going to be taking these screws loose right quick, okay? So we're going to grab our, um, our number, I guess it's a number two, Philip. This is what you're going to do. And we have a soldering uh, station too, so you're going to need that too. You want, need, you want a good soldering uh, gun too. You don't want a, you don't want a, a, a cheap soldering, soldering station so that way you don't get a cold solder. Okay. Okay, we don't want to lose the screws either. <laughs> so, all right. As you can see in these screws, they got a little, they got a little thermal paste on them. So, you know they got a little bit of one. All right, so now we're gonna take, now you don't necessarily have to take the back cover off or the, or the back plate. You have to take the front, the front uh, cover off or the plate, and what this is gonna do is gonna slide the whole, the whole component that's inside this here. Heat sink is gonna slide right out, and then we're gonna expose the uh, the shunts. Okay. Alas, I had did a video. I actually did a video on how to mod your um, controller. I had I had a couple of uh, a couple of people that comment on my. Uh, on that video on that topic and some of them say they couldn't actually see uh, what I was doing and I do apologize for it that's why I'm actually making this second video so I can so y'all can actually can see what I'm doing and and how to do it so that way y'all can uh, get a big picture so when you actually want to do your own modifications to your uh, your controller then you can um this will help will help you out so what we're gonna do I'm gonna pull the um the wires, all the wires, and we're gonna slide it out just like so. Okay. Ah, I got heat. I got a uh, thermal paste on my hands. I touched the, the aluminum. So here's the bar right here. So here's the aluminum bar. Here's the Moffitts. So you have. Let me see. So there's there's a uh, six. There's actually six Moffitts per phase, as you can see. Um. So there's six. So it's, so that's six, that's nine, that's about, what's that, 12, 14, or something like that. 
I'm not good at math though. But here is what we're gonna be getting to right here, okay? And you see right here, there's those are shunts right here. It's three of them. Some of y'all might have two, some of you might have four. I noticed on the thousand watt controller, that was a total of, of two shunts, okay? This one has three. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um modding this controller by um soldering these shots together okay so i hope y'all can see it we're going to get the camera down low so y'all can go ahead and see that so let me so got a rag right here we're going to be putting that right there and we're going to take our little knee nose pliers right here and what you want to do you want to squeeze them together very simple just kind of squeeze them all together okay now now see how see how we got them all squeezed squeezed together. Okay, so now now what we're gonna do is we're going to solder. We're gonna turn our soldering station on for one thing, and it doesn't get it doesn't take long to get hot. Okay. All right. So I think we have the biggest tip on that. Yes, we do. So here we got our uh, soldering iron right here. We're waiting on it to reach temperature, and it has reached temperature. So. Now, what we're gonna be doing, this is, um actually this has a uh, flux in it. This, this is a flux course uh, soldering, um, solder right here. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be uh, soldering these shunts together, okay? So here we go. Just keep on dabbing it, keep on, you wanna, you wanna coat them all together, okay? some old solder right here now you don't have to coat this now with solder now you just want to you just want to get them soldered on in the, together okay we're gonna let that cool now i had did this type of model my son's control my son used to have a thousand watt we brought a kit from eBay and it was a thousand watt uh, e-bike conversion kit, 20 inch for his bike. And before we before we got the ADM controller, we had we had did a shot model on his controller and it was a uh, noticeable difference. I mean, uh, more top speed on it. Uh, it it only it only did like 22 miles per hour, but after we did the uh, shot mod, it did 28 miles an hour. Uh, but the ADM now it does 31, 31 to 35 miles an hour. Um, depends on where he's at and but but just just doing a shunt mod it's a, it's a very cheap option um instead of going and getting a controller uh it still could run on your same battery it's not gonna pull that much amps uh just it'll so be a little more a little more increasing amp draw but but not enough to where the bms is going to trip so so this right here is a very cheap upgrade um for those who's who looking to get more power to e-bikes with, with a basic control like this, this is gonna be a fantastic option right here. So now we're done with this. So what we're gonna do, we can go ahead and assemble this back in. So we have a gasket right here. Y'all see this, it's, a, it's not really waterproof, but it's just it's something there to, to keep all the, some dust and, and moisture out. So, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. And as you can see right here, um, the 80, 80 volts capacitor, so it's a four and it, 70 uniferrets so these are pretty decent capacitors that's why i can run uh the 60 64 volts i wouldn't recommend doing the uh 72 volts because uh it actually charged 84.4 volts and i don't i wouldn't recommend it so now we can go ahead and put it all back together so this thing this uh this component the main the the motherboard right here can slide right on in just like so and then now first, before we screw these caps on, we wanna make sure that that bar is lined up with the side of this controller, okay? Before we before we even put the, um, the, the screws back on the cover itself. So what you wanna do, you wanna get these started. You wanna get these started right here. Okay, so that way these screws will be lined up and that's the and that's the hardest part is actually getting these screws lined up uh, with that with that bar inside the controller. Now you don't have to start them. 
You don't have to tighten them up, just get them started. All right, now, since we have all the screws in, now we can go ahead and um, do the cover. And make sure your gasket, if it does have a gasket, make sure it's just lined up so to where you can uh, screw that bad boy in without uh, messing up that gasket they, they have right there. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that I upload that one video about how to how to um, increase the power of your uh, controller that the people that couldn't see it I, I know the camera the camera was way off and I, and I apologize for that so that's why I feel like I should just make another video of me doing this and like I say this it's, it's another customer that wanted this done for their they want their kid to um, have the power because this is going on a 24 inch bike 24 inch hardtail mountain bike for the son and uh, their son is a little bit bigger than my, my kid, so he gonna need all the power he can get. So, let's go ahead. Well, he's older than my son too, so <laughs> that explains it why. Oh, he, he loves the e-bike. He actually um, been riding my son's e-bike for a while, and he, he just want him one. So I'm doing this now, so that way he can go ahead and uh, get, his, get his batteries and his, uh, is on uh, hub motor and he's gonna it's gonna be a thousand watt hub motor i think is it a thousand watt or fifth yeah i think i think they're gonna get a thousand watt to it so but don't worry because um the the control that's on that controller that's on my son's bike it's a three thousand watt controller to a thousand watt motor i had a a Sabaton 150 on that one time so it, it, it's it, that 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 hub motor for some reason can take it it can take the the uh, the abuse so now we can go ahead and tighten these uh these screws that hold that bar to the uh heat sink we can go now go ahead and tighten those in and you don't have to over tighten them you can snug them okay and there we go we're done so i hope this i hope this been helpful to y'all um this is like i say this is a tutorial video on how to uh increase the power of your uh, controller right here it's a shunt mod a shunt mod just to be done to your controller uh it does increase the amps it doesn't uh increase top speed a little bit increase acceleration you're going to feel it you're going to definitely feel it to see your pants um this is going to be a, a a very cheap option cheap upgrade um if you want looking for more power of your e-bike so i hope this video been very helpful to y'all and, and let me know if I miss something out, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to apply and, and so I can either correct my mistakes or I can explain what's going on. And uh, so that's it for this video. This is your e-bike guy. And uh, for those who haven't been um, watching the channel, those newcomers that have been uh, watching my channel, I appreciate it. And um, just um, let me know what y'all think. Till then, I'll see you next time.